Hey, welcome to the segment. We just saw Neighbors 2, and we're going to do our in-depth spoiler review of the film. It's really just an after-movie discussion, but we're just going to uh, take it and break it down a little bit and just say what we thought. Now, we have a special guest here today. She's a real-life actress who's appeared in some Hollywood movies. Teresa, come on in. Come on in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right, now she saw the movie with us, too, so we're going to give our thoughts. Come on, let's start with you. What do you think? Uh... <laughs> Well, I went hoping it was going to be as good as Neighbours 1, and um, there was parts that were good, but honestly, when it first started, I absolutely freaking hated it, and then I got into it, and then it was some really funny stuff. So overall, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. I'd probably say it's a DVD kind of film. Hit and miss? What do yeah. you think? I definitely agree it's a DVD kind of film. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really remember what happened at the end of Neighbours 1. Mm -hmm. So when it started, I was kind of a little bit confused and same concepts. Well, let, let me start point. there, too. I mean, like, they, it's almost like they got stoned and they forgot how Neighbors 1 ended because they're like enemies again at the beginning and I thought they were like buddies taking off their shirts and modeling at the end of Neighbors. Well, we made a comment during the film, this has got to be at least three writers because it was just all over the place. And I came back to review it, and actually, Teresa, you mentioned, you said, well, why didn't you check and see what Neighbours 1, who wrote that? And actually, there's only two writers. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, Neighbours 2, five writers. That's why I think it was so discombobulated. It really you know? had the feel of different split personalities yeah. in the script. Even the same characters at different times in the movie felt like they all had split personalities. Mm -hmm. it was, you could really tell... I couldn't. You, I wouldn't be able to tell you which writer wrote, wrote which part, but you could tell that one writer wrote this part, a different writer wrote this scene, a different writer wrote that scene, and it, it just wasn't. And you could tell it, it kind of had a feel of we have to make this movie as opposed to let's just write a good story. Yeah, and I think sometimes when you got two people, it's much easier because you yeah. have that fifty-fifty kind of thing. You say something funny, I'm laughing. Let's do it. When you got five people, you know, there's going to be somebody who's a little bit more alpha male mm -hmm. wants it done their way, and maybe they. Uh, it's, you know, it's my film, do it my way kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe that five of them all just were laughing at the same shit, you know, and thought mm -hmm. it was funny. But some of it really wasn't funny, and yeah. some of it was absolutely bloody hilarious. They so definitely went over the line a few times. Definitely. Yeah, I think they crossed way over that line. I wasn't comfortable. You didn't like the balls? Um, the balls and the baby parts. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that at, that at all. No. Not at all. No, Did I baby. miss a baby part? Oh, my goodness. That was the... the the leg. Oh, the yeah, baby. Yeah, okay, the baby I thought they showed like it was a rib. Okay, the leg. I remember the leg. I thought they showed like a baby part. No, but you definitely know, not something. I need to see. And honestly, you know, as a parent, you know, okay. I know that was cool though. The the, the leg. That was. That well, was, it was. was good. Uh, you know, see, so you say you both say it was over the line, but you both were laughing. Not I was, was not laughing. I wasn't laughing. laughing. You were not laughing. laughing. I know you not were the laughing. Leg. Not I know the leg. Laughing. No. But you know what made me feel uncomfortable as a parent was a lot of the swearing around the kid. You know, giving the kid a dildo. And then the big balls, I mean, come on already. I mean, it's just awkward, you know, as a parent watching it. Yeah, but, but some parents in Hollywood will do for the kid to get a SAG card, man. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> yeah. This way you go, give your kid a SAG card. Yeah. Make him over the though. Yeah, she's going to play with a vibrator the whole time. <laughs> It's so tacky. It I was mean, dressed like a princess, though. <laughs> it was dressed like a princess. Princess Pinky. <laughs> Maybe she should start her own line, you know. <laughs> How about the um, the characters and stuff? Let's get into that. I mean, did mm. it... Because to me, it felt like... I, I, I'll start off, I guess. But to me, it felt like they were fake caricatures I agree. of mm. the original characters. Mm -hmm. They were like... It almost seemed like hollow. I really didn't buy into the... The lead girl, I've forgotten her name for the second. Chloe was his, her first name, but I... Just, just over the top for me. I just, I just didn't really kind of buy into the whole girl thing. It was just kind of annoying me at times. But uh, what do you well, think? Well, what about you? I mean, yeah. it was girl power. It was. Did, 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 did girl you feel power. some girl power? Did you I come out in power? power. Okay. Um, they took the girl power a little bit too far at times. Mm -hmm. um, but it was nice to see that sort of, you know, alternative sorority frat party. That kind of was party. cool. Though. I thought that was like, cool. Like, that was awesome with their ideas and stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, they were um, very entrepreneur mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, rule. <laughs> but they were making money, and that's good, you know. But the thing was, I, you know, I never went to school in America, and I and certainly didn't do college here. But I didn't realize that frat parties, are they really that? Sexually or that crazy? I mean, yeah. really? Are they? Oh my There's god! There's the punch that they were talking about. Yeah. It's called wapatui. 
Oh my God. I think it's just being interpreted differently now, though, too, you know, because they definitely had a, a big social justice warrior feel to yeah, this. Yeah, it looks and strange. It, it definitely really felt like a lot of the um, battles that you're really seeing in, in popular culture right now with the whole yeah, the rape, black cult, cult, and rape the culture, and, well, all yeah. that stuff, you know, the, That's the, the kind of, um, you know, it's funny because literally this stuff is so new and, and different now we forget that literally when neighbors one came out to to neighbors two it's changed and, and this whole True. kind True. of you know it's an, it's an evolving definitely mm -hmm. uh well I, I, what do you think i mean obviously you, you sat down and watched it same as us what do you think well they just you know they just kept pushing the line like every mm. they any place that they wanted to go they took it there and then stepped over it and seth was really pushing i know you yeah. were buddy you, you seem like the type yeah. <laughs> he was like the only one that i guess he i didn't see him smoke weed in the movie he's about the only one that didn't no, i guess he, he, got high off the barbecue <laughs> yeah no kidding yeah. yeah that's kind of interesting there were some hysterical parts mm -hmm. in there yeah, what was your uh, favorite funny? Oh, there was a, there was a few, but I re <laughs> when he jumped on the airbag, <laughs> which was you so knew, you knew it was so funny because it was so it's such yeah, a simple I joke. It was like I know. three Stooges style. It you was. knew it was gonna happen, yeah. but for some reason, the way that that scene went down, it was a story. I had like tears. Yeah, I did too. Which <laughs> is funny because the movie overall sucked. I, I thought, agree. but I agree. there was some parts in there where I laughed harder than I've laughed in a long time. Me too, definitely. There were some classic moments. Did you have any funniest parts? <laughs> um, no, I did enjoy when the sorority just started getting started and mm -hmm. they threw their own sort of little parties, like mm -hmm. the little whatever where everyone was dressed yeah. up as Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Clinton. And then Oprah came out Oprah and was like, you a have a beer, you, you have a beer, beer. you have a beer. Like, that, that, was funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> there was a lot of funny, you know, little moments, but if you take it over as a film, it was a pretty shit film, sorry. It really was, yeah. I thought so. It's just one of those that, you know, you go smoke a lot of pot and go watch it. Well, you'd have to smoke a lot of pot to watch that yeah. film, I think. So we normally score the films, and so to kind of give you, because you haven't asked you about this, but, you know, you can do it out of 10, you can do it out of 5, you can do, you know, A being the best or whatever. So I'm going to do my... Stars or thumbs. Yeah, whatever. and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with uh, IMDb, and they scored this film 6.4 out of 10, and that was based on 4,184 votes, Okay. Rotten Tomatoes gave it uh, 66%, and then um, I think the other one I had, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, I think those are the primary, oh, Metascore gave it 56. So I think my own score, I'm going to score a little lower, I'm going to go at 5.5, I think. And that's out, of, that's out of, out of 15, right? That's out of 100. <laughs> <laughs> that's out of 10, because that's how I usually score it. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Well, I would definitely, um, if, if I was scoring it a F at the low end to A, uh, grade score, I'd say it's a C movie, mm. definitely um, not something that I'm probably going to watch twice. Um, it's worth watching once, maybe when it comes out on Netflix, um, but it's definitely forgettable, and I don't think there'll be a part three. I hope not. But oh, I don't want you to give me yeah. a score yet because I, I just want to go back. What did you think of Neighbors 1, the original Neighbors? What would you have scored that at? Um, that was good. I mean, it's been too long since I've seen it to give it an adequate score. Yeah, but at true, least a true. B or an A. Yeah, and I think I would have been there too. I mean, mm -hmm. it, I enjoyed it. And mm -hmm. I think I've seen it once or, or twice maybe or three times. Um, you know, it was a, that was a good, solid movie. Now, you see, it had the heart that this movie doesn't have. Uh, this is more corporate feel to it. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely, mm -hmm. it's definitely like a, the difference. Um, we could do like clothing analogy. It's the difference between a, a shirt like from uh, Walmart versus a handmade shirt from a quality men's store. You know, oh, like it's it's that corporate feel where it's the same characters, it's right. the same people returning, but they don't have that extra thing and and it's funny I wonder what goes through the actors of mind uh, minds of actors and you guys are both actors so maybe you could tell mm -hmm. me but when you when you're returning to a role like that do the actors like are they are they really like shallow people where they never had the heart in the first place it's all the writers because if I if I it seemed like if I was coming back to that movie I would as an actor I'd be like what happened to my character well I think that uh, and that's a good question and I don't get to answer it as truthfully as I can 
you know, because I also direct. So it depends what I'm looking for as a director, what I'm looking for my actor. Now, sometimes I'm open to what they interpret the role as. And if I'm not really keen on it, maybe I'll kind of say, hey, I want it a little bit more like this. But the truth of the matter is you normally cast someone because you believe that they're going to bring that to the role. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, you know, who knows who was really pulling the power. But often it's left up to the actor to to bring the role to life. Mm -hmm. Because, and, and then, you know, that's what table reads are for and casting. You want to get the right feel from it. And hopefully well, see, then it will come together, you know. Like, especially, like, Zac Efron's character right. seemed... Uh, not quite right. No, I, th I thought he was overacting in some mm -hmm. ways and, or an underacting in others. I, I just thought he was quite, rather curious. So what did you think? Um, I think it was just, eh, straight down the middle. I don't know. Three uh, stars, two unicorns, I don't know. Two unicorns, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so definitely like a not paid to see a thing, right? Yeah, I what I think about? I did see Neighbors 1 in the, in the movie theaters the first time and mm -hmm. I, I did enjoy it and this time it just seemed like just a paycheck for everyone. Now, a year from now when it's out on Netflix, should people sit down and watch it? Or, I mean like... Yeah, I would suggest yeah. definitely having a, a few beers, yeah. maybe some other things, <laughs> you need the right beers. state of mind exactly. and then you're like, like, hey, it's two o'clock in the morning. Let's order pizza. Hey, neighbor, just stew is on. Let's watch it. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd probably really enjoy it. So, as an actress, uh, you're getting ready for a role. Do you do you bring yourself to the role, or do you allow the director to direct you? Um, well, I guess it depends on the part. True, um, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with this movie, if I was in it, I would probably be smoking a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're kind of wondering that maybe that's what happened. I don't know, but also too, the movie did seem to take a long time to get started. Well, that's the too. point I was saying. The first ten minutes. It was, I really Even like the gone. first, make 20 minutes, yeah, well, I mean, I there was, there generous, was yeah. not really... It wasn't good. Any jokes, it was all, you could tell it was, it was setting up to the jokes, but mm. it seems like there could, could have been retooled a little bit. Well, and the funny thing is, when the funny stuff happened, I think you were so eager to laugh that it probably even made it more fun, because mm. it was really slow, and I, I was looking at both of you thinking, what the hell are we watching? It was really, at that point, I was going to say it's the worst, one of the worst movies I'd ever seen. And then it did pick up a bit, like you said, some of the individual... Yeah, the individual, moments. there's individual gags in here that are yeah. great, and it's yeah. obviously one of the five writers that probably wrote all the funny ones, and then the other people, you know, were the ones bringing it <laughs> down. On one of them had a fetish with, like, dildos, and they had... <laughs> no kidding. Probably the one person wrote all the dildo scenes. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. But the and, then there, and then there was, like, this sort of dichotomy, too, that they didn't really address, you know, where all the girls are saying, like, Zac Efron's hot, but then yep. they're still saying, like, he's an old guy. I know. And it's kind of like this dual thing that I think, you know, it, it, you kind of almost had to have a, a suspicion of disbelief at some points when they were dissing him, because, you know, those girls would have been all over him all the time, and they never would have fired him the way they did. I know that was funny about the pouring the meat over him. Yeah. <laughs> That was good. That was some good stuff. Just, uh, yeah, there was a but then, like, yeah, they're totally all over him. But then, yeah, and then the whole problem with the movie, too, you know? I mean, when they, they're trying to get back at him, mm. you know, and, and they're all sitting out on the lawn in their uh -huh. bathing suits. I'm like, how is this a problem selling the house? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Every guy's dreaming. I, yeah, I mean, if, if I ever want to sell my house, I want to hire a bunch of girls to sit on the front lawn like that. I think putting the selling, water on you, yeah. making them more sexy. Ooh, but also, too, like, let's say that whole montage. <laughs> That like whole montage was like straight from the trailer though too, yeah, which I thought was kind of like mm -hmm. tacky though. I mean like that all the, you know, it's like they could have. Well, who says to your wife, you know, that you're making them more sexy? Yeah. I mean, really. But I mean, like the whole, you know, it's like all mostly funny scenes are in the trailer. No, I agree. Yeah. You know. So you know, I think that's one going at five point five because mm -hmm. it was kind of average, <laughs> the best. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I think uh, we scored it like like we have the right, right? Like, yeah, I I mean, know, come on, know, you know, know. still. We're it's ready, still, we're ready. We're just, we're just criticizing it for shits and giggles, really. Yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. still better than something that I could make, that's for sure. Oh, God. But mm -hmm. um, I did feel lost some heart. Some, I mean, was the were the two original writers, were they part of the five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so the two originals came back into the mm -hmm. five. They, they're the ones who wrote the funny stuff. Andrew J. And Cohen and... Uh, Brandon O'Brien were the original writers, mm -hmm. and then they added, um, obviously, Seth, and okay. then Nicholas Stoller, and Evan uh, Goldberg. So there was five writers, which mm -hmm. is, I think that's very Two good. of them are Jewish, for sure. Well, that's okay. I yeah. think all of them were, to be okay. quite an excellent. Yeah. Mr. O'Brien, maybe he's from Ireland. Mm -hmm. We'll put the thumbs up for you there. <laughs> no, but comedy is, is subjective. 
and I didn't like that. <laughs> I just remembered. See, like, there was, like, some really, really funny shit in this movie, but it's just, like, one line, and you had to wait for it. See, it wasn't, like, the situations weren't funny. It was, like, funny little jokes that you had to wait for. You know, it wasn't, like, a, a funny laughs all the way through, but I just remembered the <laughs> little Jew in the oven. <laughs> It was awful. Oh, yeah. was I, I have never felt so embarrassed in the whole film in my life. <laughs> but I, it was so bad that it was funny. I mean, it was I laughed. Quick. It, was it was so quick. quick. And don't, and don't both of you, don't yeah. both no, of you say you weren't laughing. I, laugh. I did. I laughed. I did laugh at that That's one. why I'm laughing. Yeah. Yeah. But because I felt so bad that I'm like, why am I laughing at this joke? <laughs> yeah. You know? It's but that's, the, you know, that's, that's where you it's know, gotten to this point, too. I mean, they've got to keep pushing it and pushing it. I'm sure in this generation, there's so many people that would just not even catch that reference. Yeah, oh, that's, like, that's what makes it funny, you know? That it was so yeah, quick, yeah. but it was awesome. It was yeah. funny. But I felt embarrassed about laughing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, and, but that, you know, honestly, I think I, with comedies these days, uh, mainstream blockbuster comedies, that whole em embarrassed laughter kind of joke that's where it's like where really it's, it's really it's where it's at yeah, you know is, they gotta yeah. you know everyone everyone's got to have a penis in there somewhere and it's and it does get laughs and uh and they and they <laughs> just gotta leg. keep pushing these yeah a little hanging fetus leg and that was bad it was I terrible not appreciate no that. no man See, he's laughing again he it says was, it's terrible it but he's sick. laughing again sick that laughing. was the best part no nobody needs to see no. anything no 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 nobody needs please to see not that. Especially when you try to claim it's a, it wasn't the ribs. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. Well, um, well thanks for watching. Thumbs okay, so, so, you know, I mean, basically, I mean, if you watch at this point, you've already seen the movie anyways. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I don't no know. refunds at this point. Yeah, it's kind mm -hmm. of whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it made me a little dumber. But that's okay. Okay. Well, we can both lose a few cells. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, 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 thanks for coming along and being yeah, on our show. Yeah, thank you. We'll do a little cheers at the end here. Salute, Slime J. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Leave your comments below as long as they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> Direct them towards him. Yeah.